Today's story is near the beginning of the Bible and is part of the story of Jacob's great family. Jacob had 12 sons. One of Jacob's sons was Joseph. Through his life, Joseph kept the Lord close to his heart and the Lord helped Joseph find favor with the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh appointed Joseph to rule over Egypt for him. Through the Pharaoh's dreams, the Lord told Joseph that a famine was coming. Joseph collected some of the grain each year to store for when the famine came. Because he did this, the people of Egypt did not go hungry. During the seven years of famine, many people in the lands around Egypt were hungry. They had no food for themselves or their animals. When Jacob learned that there was grain in Egypt, he told his sons to go to Egypt and buy some grain. He sent ten of the brothers and kept Benjamin at home with him. When the brothers arrived in Egypt, they bowed before the person who sold the grain. They did not recognize Joseph, but Joseph recognized them. Joseph asked them, where do you come from? They replied, from the land of Canaan. But Joseph did not trust his brothers and said to them, you are spies and wish to harm our land. His brothers replied, no, my Lord, we are your servants, and we have come to buy food. We are all sons of one man. There are twelve brothers. One is with our father, and one is no more. Joseph was testing his brothers, and so said, It is as I said, you are spies. This is how you will be tested. If you are honest men, one of your brothers will stay here in prison, while the rest of you take the grain back to your starving land. But... You must bring your youngest brother to me. The brothers said to one another, Surely we are being punished because of what we did to our brother Joseph. He pleaded with us for his life, but we would not listen. Now we must give an account for his blood. Joseph gave orders to fill their bags with grain. He also ordered that each man's silver be put back in his sack. He gave them food for their journey, and they returned to the land of Canaan. When they returned, they told Jacob all that had happened, and that they must return to Egypt with Benjamin, or they will all die. When they opened their sacks, they found each man's pouch of silver, and they were frightened. Jacob was afraid and said, I have already lost Joseph, and now Simeon is in prison, and now you want to take Benjamin too. Everything is against me. Reuben replied, Entrust Benjamin to my care, and I will bring him back. But Jacob was so afraid, he would not let Benjamin go.